while uh, economic data uh, seems to be doing okay, export seems to be doing okay, but inflation is definitely not going the direction Bank of Japan wants. Core CPI, though, on a nationwide basis in the month of Japan did rise at its fastest pace since April 2015. Does that change things? Does that change the policy dynamics? No, I don't think so. Well, Bank of Japan's target is 2%, and uh, yes, uh, the number might be a little high, uh, but then uh, the, the current, current inflation is nowhere near the BOJ's target. OK, where's corporate Japan in all of this? Because uh, Japanese manufacturers, if you look at their outlook for April, it looks fairly constructive. April output up 8.9%. That is uh, above the prior forecast. Uh, does that mean that they are in a mood to pass on meaningful wage increases to Japanese workers, which should unleash this virtuous cycle of inflation? That's not happening yet, is it? Right, so manufacturers uh, overall uh, has, are enjoying this uh, global uptick in the, in the economic trend. So that should give them uh, ammunition to uh, raise wages, but then they are not. You know, um, why? Uh, well, I think invest, raising wages, uh, employing more people, it's a big investment decision for corporate managers. And I, what I feel is, yes, despite the current numbers seemingly good, they are not so confident in the future to make that investment. So wrap it up for us, uh, Tokuji. How long is the Bank of Japan going to stay in stimulus mode? And at what point are we going to see that elusive 2% inflation being achieved? Right. Well, you know, I, I doubt that the Bank of Japan is not... Uh, uh, I doubt that Bank of Japan is actually stimulating the economy anymore. Bank of Japan is no longer uh, uh, doing QQE. Bank of Japan is actually thinking about reducing purchase of JGB. So what it tells us is, I think Bank of Japan has tried very hard for the last four years. It has used up all the ammunition to stimulate the economy, but they have no more.